SCP-2276 is a class of artificial space satellites orbiting various bodies in pairs. Each pair is an exact duplicate of the original gravity recovery and climate experiment satellites, as they existed at 1804 on June 11, 2002. SCP-2276-1 was originally launched by NASA on March 17, 2002. Instances are functional and respond to commands transmitted to them. However, transmissions must be aimed directly when commanding instances that have not yet been reprogrammed per 2276-W to avoid accidentally commanding multiple instances at once. New instances of SB-2276 will spontaneously manifest in orbit around Earth or another body. The rate at which new instances appeared was initially around 1 per 8 months. The rate has increased over time since then, around 1 new instance per day in early 2016, and is predicted to continue rising. 991 instances have been discovered to date, 347 of which are not in orbit of Earth, orbits are all circular with varying altitudes and isotropically distributed. The complete catalog of SV-2296 instances is available in Addendum A. SV-2276-3A and B were recovered from orbit on April 22nd. 2004, physical inspection at Area 15 revealed no existences and no anomalous phenomena occurred during quarantine. SB 22... Okay. What? R real quick, w were you meaning inconsistencies? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You, you keep... You keep... <laughs> and Shut consistencies. Shut up. Anyways... <laughs> SB-2276-3 is currently in storage at Site-73. A third status satellite was launched into proximity of SCP-2276-1 on January 4, 2006 to conduct visual inspections of the satellites. No discrepancies have been found between SB-2276-1 and the satellite plans to date. It's, no it's it's discrepancies, hmm? not discrepancies. There's no, yes. there's not another S. Discrepancies. A number of collisions occurred between SV-2276 instances and other artificial satellites in 2007 to 2009, prompting the addition of the Active Collision Avoidance Program to the containment measures. This has significantly reduced the incident rate. While the rate of incidents, incidents arising from collisions with SV-2276 remains manageable at the present time, SV-2276 will likely pose a significant problem for space activities in the future and may lead to an Appalachian Cascade event which, within the next decade if actions are not taken to avert, to avert it. Appalachian Cascade event? Sometimes referred to as Kessler Syndrome. Although use of that term is discouraged. I don't know what a Kessler Syndrome is. Um. But Graham? <laughs> I'll just go look it up. You say Kessler Syndrome? Yeah, Kessler Syndrome. <laughs> I'm just messing with Graham. There's two S's by the way. There's two S's by the way. Probably. Uh, okay, yeah, this is what I was thinking of. Kessler Syndrome is a nightmare space scenario in which the number of satellites and orbital debris is so high that collisions occur, each one generating more and more space debris, and in turn, ca cascading collisions. So think the atmosphere at the start of the WALL-E movie. Yeah. Hello, Last Samurai, and reading SVs, and then we're ranking them. Anyways. At January 11th, 2007, SCP-2276-45. Collision occurs disabling SCP-2276-1. 
2276-45A, B, and Chinese weather satellite FY-1C officially reported as anti-satellite missile test. February 21st, 2008, SCP-2276-38 collision occurs disabling SCP-2276-38, 38A, B, and United States spy satellite USA-193 officially reported as anti-satellite missile test. February 10th, 2009, SCP-2276-63 collision occurs disabling SCP-2276-63B communication satellite, satellite Iridium-33 and retired communication satellite Cosmos-2251 officially reported as collision between Iridium-33 and Cosmos-2251. December 9th, 2013, SCP-2276-437. Collision occurs disabling SCP-2276-437 A and damaging CBERS-3 launch vehicle during at ascent. SP-2276-437A slash re-enters two days following this event. Uh, uh, March 26, 2016, SP-2276-859, collision occurs disabling SCP-2276-859A and Japanese X-ray telescope Hitomi Media Suppression Ongoing. Addendum A Catalog of SCP-2276 Instances, a table of discovery date and initial orbital elements in which 2276 instances, instance is available to for research use. See documentation 2276B for information on how to access up-to-date inference data. Oh god, what the fuck? I decided to hit download catalogs. I thought it showed, like, you know, other shit. Now I'm just seeing a, a black background with a bunch of letters and numbers. <laughs> oh no. Are you okay? <laughs> yes, I'm fine now. I got out of it. <laughs> I couldn't understand it. Didn't them be use of SCP-2276 in researching other anomalies. Due to its nature, there are a number of, of SCP-2276 instances uniquely situated gathered data on other anomalies and SCP objects. With a few exceptions, use of SCP-2276 data to facilitate this type of research is generally permitted with proper clearance. Research talk Target SCP-2886, SCP-2276, instances involved, 316, description, SCP-2276 has been used to help measure the mass of SCP-2886 due to its presence of, of only one instance, SCP-2276-316, the resolution has been too limited to provide a clear subsurface imagery, but research is ongoing. Research target SCP-1812, SCP-2276 instances involved, 696 and 794. Description, knowledge of SCP-2276-696 and 794 is restricted to individuals with 3-1812 clearance. No attempt is to be made to contact or locate 696 or 794. Research tar tar uh, target SCP-736, SCP-2276 uh, instance involved, 295-366-485-661-774-919-975. Description, SCP-2276 has been used to provide precise data on the alterations in the orbit of the ep epitus caused by SCP-2276 
SCP-736. This data has allowed facially enhanced precision and associated orbital projections. Missions are underway to attempt to remove all SCP-2276 instances from the orbit of Neptus to avoid provoking SCP-736 further. Research tar target SCP-2362. SCP-2376 instances involve 672, 711, 877, and 891. Description instances in orbit of SCP-2362 and SCP-2362 like objects are being used to study the nature of this anomaly and monitor, their, monitor them in case of activity. Note with that most instances of of SCP-2276 in orbit of of SCP-2362 were destroyed by debris following the event of SCP-2362-A. And that's it. Hmm. Let's see. Basically, I'm trying, like, I'm trying to look into how dangerous Kessler Syndrome could be mm -hmm. overall. Not sounding too ex dangerous, ex except when they get to be too many. Yeah, because it doesn't seem to be stopping, like, cloning. The worst case scenario with this syndrome could be the complete inability to have satellites functional. Yeah. And satellites being pretty damn important to our daily lives. Always face the best as a cringing king of this group. That's true, but. Also, I read that a bit faster than I thought I would, so I can, we can probably get Hatchet to read one more, too, if they want to. I am reading one more. I just don't know where to put this. Um, yeah. Because like, I, I feel like world changing would be the most appropriate one. Because, yeah. like, if it actually spiraled into a Kessler Syndrome event that was too severe it would dramatically change how the world operates. Mm -hmm. Spood tier gives Spood the space trash. Theory, ask Spood if they want the space trash. Spood is downstairs, so I Shit. feel like they cannot go into the Spood tier. Okay. Uh, then yeah, I'd say world changing. Though I'm sure if Spood was upstairs, they would want the space trash, but they are not upstairs. Yeah. So they don't get the space trash. Yeah. They should have thought of that before they went downstairs. They probably went downstairs to eat. They should have thought about that time. before they got hungry. Well, well, it's dinner time. I'm hungry. I just like SEP. I don't remember the last time that Bright has done an SCP tier. Yeah, a really long interview. time. Anyways, right. the next SCP which Hatchet will be reading is SCP-2277, the number right after mine. It is Andronica Atima Maxima. Okay, I've got it open. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. Okay. This doesn't look to be too long. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Description. SCP-2277 is an unknown user or autonomous... 
autonomous, 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 sorry, and an, an unknown user or autonomous program of unknown origin, which regularly engages in spamming or harassing phone calls to individuals using pre-recorded voices and unusual redacted ventrilo mumble Redacted, Redacted, and Skype. SCP-2277 records uh, records these harassing calls and uploads audio with accompanying video to various sites such as YouTube, Vimeo, and Daily Motion under the guise of popular ventrilo harassments or soundboard prank calls. These videos... 77-A. The views often feature victims being enraged at the persistent verbal abuse and spam and involves the interspersing of humorous images and video clips to dis to dis de 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 designate certain speakers. The uploader is frequently represented as an 8-bit animated image of Carl Sagan. As he appeared in 1980 series Cosmos, any further relation to Dr. Sagan and or Cosmos is unknown or else non-existent. 2277A's anomalous effects are apparently triggered Excuse me. Apparently triggered by the bursts of noise interspersed in its harassments. Or in its harassment videos. Attempts to decode the noise have variably revealed them to be fragments of apparently mundane conversation between unknown persons or otherwise background noise from an unidentified public area with individuals speaking a variety of languages. Individuals exposed to 2277-A gradually develop a persistent delusion involving a fictitious individual, faction, or nation going variably by the names Andronica, Andronique, or Andronica in different spellings. The most common spelling used for Andronica and will be used in this document for brevity. Okay. Depending on the individual lack of university knowledge of Andronica, Andronica will lead to increased scrutiny of recent historical record and the prep and the per perpetration of certain conspiracy theories involving the destruction of Andronica and the suppression of any and all information relating to it slash them. Present details on Andronica, Andronica include a strong matriarchal society and or strong emphasis on a female leadership, heavy emphasis on ancient Greek slash Roman history and philosophy, primarily military history, with a direct emphasis and references frequently made to the writings and persons of the oh gods i'm gonna butcher some of these thukydides thykydides uh gaius julius caesar polybius polybius xenophon redacted and rarely theodore arliat dodge doge dodge i okay a strong emphasis. Could that on... first one have been Philaides or something? Uh... It's uh, T H U C Y D I D E S. Can you spell that again? Sorry. T H U C Y D I D E S. Who said? Wait. This, yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to, like, remember the letters and, like, 
they're like just could you like just copy it and then like paste it okay i think i think it might be pronounced uh thucydides oh yeah no that that sounds right yeah yeah thucydides okay a strong emphasis on sex among military units as a means of cohesion and morale example citing the sacred band of thebes note andronican military forces are depicted as largely female implying a strong emphasis on homosexual relations although reference to integrated male units have been found this yeah that sounds pretty greek yeah this is yuri <laughs> oh my god yeah this is just scp yuri it's it's like inverse greek history where instead of uh like heavily patriarchal it's matriarchal mm -hmm. a belief in the need of oh oh this just got bad what it, a belief in a need for a system of eugenics variably involving a system of forced sterilization or in certain innocent instances the big g word based along an unknown stratification uniformly known as uh hierogenito social or gs for short the basis of this system of classification is never elaborated upon yeah so this just went from cool uh scp yuri to what the fuck uh a belief that the end of the world is imminent if these eugenics programs are not instituted a belief that a secretive pair a secretive paragovernmental society is intentionally sabotaging attempts at transnational reclamation or the f formation of a singular global authority known variously as the Technics, Eaters, Kenati, Kenatis, or Pleistionarchs. Place, Note, see addendum. <laughs> For hatchets, SCP. So far, Hatchet's SCP log is three, is three out of three on dark SCPs. So Nazis, but girl boss, girl boss Nazis is not something I wanted to see today. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. We've seen many forms of Nazis so far on this list. It's not what I was expecting, but. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Interestingly, Class you couldn't call. Interestingly, you couldn't call them feminazis, because oh my god, they, they are not feminists at all. Ow! Ow! Okay. Did you hurt yourself laughing? Just... Oh, you're all right. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, three classes of SCP 2277A identification have been established among affected individuals. That's right. This is like, this is all stemming from fucking people watching videos about harassing people on YouTube. That That's the source of this anomalous shit. Oh. You you yeah. watch these harassment videos and then you become obsessed with the the fucking matriarchal Greek Nazism. So you okay. basically become a harasser when you watch about harassers. Yeah. I just remembered should probably dial it back on the N word because well that sounds way worse. The the, the German the German party word <laughs> Different N word. <laughs> Different N word. I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not referring to that N word. <laughs> okay. Just call it the, the the happy German party. Oh, that, we have a no. clip. We have a clip. No, <laughs> no, we do not have a clip. Bookworm do not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, call it. Yep. 
Quote, quote the happy German pretty one. Any other uh, term, everyone will know what it means. I mean, there are so many things you can call them that are already nicknames for them. <laughs> okay. I, I won't clip it, says Bucky. Thank you. Book also I, says I was just also, messing. I would have deleted it anyways, Hatchet. <laughs> book says also, does it only affect women? Probably not, so the men wish themselves to be subjugated. <laughs> oh no. Leave that to the true haters of Bright's channel. Okay. Anyway. Three classes of SCP 2277A identification have been established among affected individuals. A small number, redacted percent of individuals affected by... I will mention that the redacted percent looks to be a two-digit number. So it's at least 10% of individuals affected by 2271A, regardless of which classification they are bound to begin to display symptoms of roughly analogous to those described as afflicting the person Andronica described in series A of SCP-2277-A classifications. Yeah, Hatchet, if you uh, click the classifications, it'll show you that oh, I miss. ABC oh, okay. thing. Yeah. Rep, okay. I mean, I read that. <laughs> Okay. A. In which Andronica is referred to as a tall Caucasian woman with red hair and bright eyes, variously described as green, gray, or gold, often depicted with large breasts and wide hips. In these instances, Andronica is described as a former slave who escapes captivity using sex and her wit to deceive and trick oppressive male figures while steadily gathering a cult-like following of individuals devoted to her. She is described as being highly sexual, often engaging her followers in sex, as well as being afflicted by a number of psychological ailments, descriptions of which match uh, oh, Tourette's syndrome, Frigoli delusion, and schizoaffective disorder or possibly hypomania. This sounds like something an incel would dream up when describing things. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, in the A version of events, Andronica is described as uniting varying peoples in the Balkan region of Europe between 1890 and 1895 before somehow managing to usurp large portions of the Ottoman Empire in the Levant and Armenia and establishing a queendom based upon the principles listed above. Her story ends with a secretive coalition of European powers who apparently have her killed and begin to systemically hunt and kill her followers before dismembering the states into tributaries and or smaller states based upon national slash religious lines. Believers of this version of SCP-2277 often attribute the Middle Eastern front of World War I and the Armenian big G word by the Ottoman Turks to be cover stories to hide the anti-Andronican coalition. So we're getting into a uh, big G word uh, denial from the people afflicted by this anomaly. That's always a good time, sarcastically. You okay? Yeah. Water. I should probably drink. Yeah. Why do I? Why do I keep getting the heavy shit? I don't know, Bright. Why? Why do they keep getting the heavy shit instead of you? I, 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 I think I can control it. I just pick a number, and it's <laughs> yeah. I just throw it at this way. You think I always know where the heavy shit goes to? <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. Okay. B. 
in which Andronica is referred to as a large centralized nation centered in Bosnia circa the mid 1800s. In this version of events, the nation state of Andronica emerges as a confederation of wealthy nobles and merchants seeking independence from a fictitious entity known as the Kingdom and Duchies of Germania Kamata. Kamata, Kamata, Kamata. Encompassing portions of Austria, Hungary, 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 Hungary. I need to stop. <laughs> Austro Hungary, uh, Germany, and Bulgaria. Endronica is described as engaging in a lengthy campaign of crushing military victories, uniting Germany and Italy before becoming overextended and collapsing due to destabilization or destabilizing, de destabilizing efforts of foreign agents variably described as English, American, Russian, and Wendish from Wendy's? Wend is a medieval era term referring to Slavic peoples living in Germanic areas. Okay, so it's not Wendy's. The adjective kamada comes from the Latin word comatus, which means long-haired hairy. So it's the hairy Germans. <laughs> Okay. Believers of this version of SCP-2277 often attribute the unification and formations of the modern states of Italy and Germany to be the result of Andronique, Andronican conquests. It is also said that the rise of nationalistic violence during this time is associated with aforementioned foreign agents' attempts at destabilizing, destabilizing Andronique. Andronica. B, in which Androni Andronica, Andronica, and fuck. <sighs> I've been reading too much. In which Andronica is referred to as a polyglot? A, a, a polyglot? I have never seen that word in my life. Polyglot? Yeah, polyglot. <laughs> I'm going to look that up. Yeah. Referred to as a polyglot of Eastern European bourgeoisie. Oh, and... uh, polyglot is knowing or using several languages. Okay. It's refer okay, so Andronica is referred to... Is there to... another, uh, is there another, like, translation, uh, another definition okay. of that? Okay, so in which Andronica... Is referred to a poly, referred to a polyglot, polyglot of Eastern European bourgeoisie and guilds centered largely in northern Greece, Austria, and Romania, who are brought together by an unknown group of women. None of the women are referred to as Andronica, nor described in any further detail. At some point between 1899 and 1920, the Andronica faction emerges as a multinational war band described in text as a modern day Varangian guard Varangian Varangian How is it spelled? Anglata language uh, Oh god uh, V-A-R A-N-G-I-A-N Varangian. Oh. Okay. Modern day Varangian Guard with a long term goal of manipulating regional politics to better accommodate the rise of the Andro Andronican state. Oh, it's a Byzantine military unit. Okay. Any potential corollary with the actual history disappears around 1934 as the Andronicans emerge in this telling as a significant geopolitical force. 1937, they become engaged in war with Nazi Germany, in which the Andronicans 
appear to be victorious. Descriptions of female Andronicans at this point begin to describe the women as having superhuman abilities, inclu including being freeze and fireproof, bullet resistant, and favoring melee combat with anachronous with, no, 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 with anachronistic large shields and short spears made of an unknown metal described as gleaming red gold. An occupation of Germany begins in which the Andronicans fail to integrate the German people, leading to a large-scale revolt in which their world, which other world powers are brought in to stop an and okay. Andronican big G. Okay, one question. Is this just a fucking um, Amazonian fan fiction thing? I'm starting to have that suspicion. A bunch of Amazons came in and fucked up the Nazis. The, I think I like the C variant the best thus far. C it's, it's OMG, it's Hyperion Wakanda. I don't know much of anything about Wakanda. Literally, all I know is it has to do with Marvel. <laughs> Same. Amazonian fanfic. Well, so that, that was like referring to oh, like yeah. um, the Tiri became Black Panther. Uh, oh, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot that all of these still include eugenicists. So, the, yeah. Okay. C affected individuals tend to be fewer in number and less likely to insist upon the veracity of the story. Oh yeah, the the US was so eugenicist and we Well yeah. Helped defeat the Nazis too, so Yeah. Veracity of the story, possibly due to the higher level of deviancy or yeah, deviancy from historical records. Okay, so now we're back to what I had tried to say. A small number uh Redacted percent of individuals affected by SCP 2277A, regardless of which classification they are bound to, begin to display symptoms uh, roughly analogous to those described as afflicting the, afflicting the person Andronica described in Series A. So they start uh, displaying symptoms of Tourette syndrome. Goli delusion, uh, schizoactive disorder, or possibly hypo hypomania. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know why they put Tourette's on there. Mm. Are they trying? I, think it's, I mean, I, th I think it's like a list of disorders that they appear to exhibit. Okay. Not that they're, like, all the same disorders. Well, like, I was just wondering about what the person who wrote it um, was trying to do. Oh, okay. By mm. choosing those specific disorders. Mm. Okay. Efforts to stop the effects of SCP-2277-A have been largely unsuccessful, as the use of amnestics has had an only temporary effect in suppressing memory of Andronica. Repeated administration of anesthetics has found to be necessary to remove memory of uh, 2277-A for a period of blank to 25 years. However, due to risk of autoimmune and or neurological disorder as a result, frequent use of amnestics have been banned and new containment procedures initiated to minimize the potential impact of pre-existing affected individuals. For Frigoli delusion, the Frigoli delusion is a rare disorder in which a person holds a delusional belief that the different people, that different people are in fact a single person who changes appearance or is in disguise. I think I've heard of that, yeah. Regoli syndrome. Yeah. Okay. Addendum. As foundation containment procedures were implemented, certain individuals affected by 
Okay, yeah, this is where I'm at. SCP-2277 began to become aware of efforts made by Foundation Front Companies Foundation Front Companies to mitigate SCP-2277 spread. A DDoS distributed denial of service was launched upon blank misinformation websites maintained by Foundation Fronts. A fresh source of 2277-A was found being distributed as a pornographic video. Audio is consistent with prior instances of 2277-A. Interviews with affected individuals of 2277 have indicated an apparent awareness of 2277, awareness by 2277 of Foundation efforts to contain it. Stories involving Andronica have been updated to incriminate an ersatz foundation found as ersatz foundation known as the society for the consolidation of power as being involved in each iteration of andronica's downfall information posted by affected individuals on forums and websites have increasingly contained details regarding this society and its activities as well as its secretive council of 13 engaging in, in secretive activity to infiltrate world governments for the express purpose of suppressing knowledge of Andronica and perpetuating a supposed GS-based system. Many of the details regarding the society's hierarchical structure have been found to be similar to that used by the SCP Foundation. Yeah, we're at full-blown conspiracy territory. As of uh, Redacted Redacted 2014, no sensitive information has been leaked, although the websites in question have been taken down and the affected individuals involved. <sighs> have been detained by Foundation personnel until such times as a makeshift solution can be found to mitigate potential risk of exposure of Foundation personnel or assets working on SCP-2277. Despite the absence of any information relating to the Foundation's containment of anomalous items, flash redacted, SCP-2277 has been upgraded to Keter, and all measures should be taken to prevent further leak of information relating to the fictitious Society of the Consolidation of Power. Okay, how the fuck do we classify that? I don't know. Okay, so it basically just fuels conspiracy theories. But yeah. said conspiracy theories might come to the point of exposing Foundation secrets. Which is not good, because... If it blows Cognito Hazard's secrets, that could be really bad. No, yeah, but I also doubt that, that would, it would come to that point. Yeah. Where Society of the Consolidation of Power spells out SCP. Yeah. Which is why it's so weird. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Then I guess, I guess the O5 Council, if it does come to the point where it could release Cognito Hazards, they do the measures they do to protect the 001s. For yeah. those who don't know, it, they put a Cognito Hazard on there that only certain people can go through it. Other people get their memories wiped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's the thing. I feel like the majority yeah. of society will basically just ignore these people. Yeah. So I don't know how much genuine harm they could cause. But, like, if we're talking just in terms of their effects, it would be, like, certain groups. I, I, I'm kind of going with that, too. I'm leaning towards that. 
Yeah, because like it's it's not causing actual tangible harm outside of making people conspiracy theorists. Us support groups is also ironically could potentially lead to wars and revolts if it gets big enough. I mean, I suppose it could, but mm, I kind of doubt it getting to that point. Especially since we do have the fallback of multiple anesthetizers that just causes health issues. Yeah, and honestly, if uh, if amnestics aren't working to make it stat, they'll probably just call it a GOC to handle it. Nah. <laughs> you know they will. <laughs> Although, on a personal level, uh, it is particularly concerning that one of those instances of 2277-A was hidden in a porn video. Oh, God. I feel like that means no one is safe. Yeah. From getting this. But simultaneous, it's not like it's going to, like, instantly affect entire continents. Yeah. It's cities. probably, like, a small percentage. Yeah. True. I guess I just read into the motive that Andronica wants them to build Andronica. Mm. I'd say certain group. Yeah, I'm thinking that too. Everyone else in agreement? Yeah. Our derm is muted. Oh, that's that's turning real. Yeah. That's just uh, being all the, the fucked up anomalies. Yeah. I, I got a bunch of fucked up ones. Since I went, went first... Okay. When I went first this stream, Hatch will go first next stream. And then Hatch, get, Hatch gets the, all of the fucked up anomalies again next stream. I swear to fuck. <laughs> Although, let's just be frank, I'm kind of glad that I'm the one getting the fucked up anomalies, because at the very least, we know for a fact that I'm better at handling fucked up topics than Bright when reading them. Yep. Oh my god. Yep. Definitely. Cause you know we have we ha we have prior precedent, Bright. We love you. We know you don't mean to. But you You're bad at this. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, I at least stopped myself for saying a bit the R yeah, word. You, at least you stopped yourself from saying a slur this time. <laughs> Congratulations. We're gonna put like five dollars <laughs> in the good bright jar. <laughs> That five dollars will be summarily revoked the next time you make an off switch joke. Oh my god. <laughs> I 